Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this one, I'm going to show you 20 different trending products and niche ideas. So all of these ideas are backed by the data. They're going to be backed by the Google Trends information that I show you. All of these product ideas make great products slash niches to pick now for the Q4 months because they're all about to spike massively in popularity and increase in demand. Basically meaning that if you jump into any one of these right now, as time goes on, there's gonna be more and more people looking to buy these exact products. And with that being said, there's not a lot more to say. So let's jump straight into niche slash products number one. Um, and here we have LED lights. So as we can see um, in June, sort of July time, it repeats every single year, right? Um, it's at its kind of bottom of popularity. We're already starting to head towards the peak and it hits its peak in sort of November, December time. I mean, as you can see, it's a slow and gradual increase through September, October, November, and December. I sound like a weather person talking to you through these different months, but as we can see, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? The closer and closer we get to Christmas, the more and more people are gonna be looking for LED lights. These are internal LED lights. If you search for outdoor LED lights, it's the opposite way, it's summer. The people look for those things. So look for, check out dropshippers like Twinkling Tree that sell um, in fact, I featured some products in my previous couple of videos um, where you can get like leaves with built in LEDs. Basically, people like to decorate their house with LED lights in the winter. OK, <laughs> so LED lights and decorations um, a good one to get in to get involved with right now. Number two, we have weighted blankets. This one um, struck me by surprise, to be honest. I suppose it makes sense as it's getting colder outside. Um, people want to stay warm inside and a weighted blanket is going to offer a bit more kind of bit more of kind of like a, a bit more cozy, I suppose, and keep people warm. As we can see again, October, November, December, January, and October, November, December, January. I'm not sure why January would be so popular for these things, but probably because it's still cold, October, November, December, November, December, you can see, and we're already kind of um, maybe 20, 30% towards hitting that peak. The angle of weighted blankets, Obviously having the product itself is only half the battle. You need the angle. What, what is the reason somebody's gonna buy the product? Is it because it's gonna keep somebody warm? I'm not 100% sure with weighted blankets. I know people use them for anxiety purposes, so maybe that's the angle you use. Moving on to number three then, we have toddler toys. Pretty self-explanatory. Christmas is for the kids, um, just to kind of prove it. <laughs> it is September, October, November. September, October, November. September, October, November. It reaches its peak in November, meaning now is the time that you want to jump in and start selling toys for toddlers. Toddlers are anything over sort of two or three years old. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, just make sure that when you pick the toy, don't go for a generic boring toy they can buy off the shelf of their local supermarket. Go for something quirky, unique, um, educational as a bonus and try and put yourself in the mind of a grandparent. What would they want to buy their grandchildren for Christmas? They're probably not going to be buying them anything techy because they tend not to understand those things. Um, apologies if you're of that generation watching this video. They tend to buy more hands-on educational toys um, that they use to play with or something more beneficial and practical. Um, than, than a tech, a screen or something. Before we go into niche number four, I just want to very quickly introduce you to a new community that I created a couple of weeks ago. It's called Real Dropshipping. I called it Real Dropshipping because I wanted it to give a realistic approach to what it truly takes to be successful at dropshipping. So I draw back the curtain into my own personal results inside rather than put it out on YouTube for the world to see. Um, inside the group, I post my monthly sales. So every single month I post um, what I turned over for that month, if I can find it. So June, July, and August, I posted that in to kind of kick the group off. Um, and then I've got my September sales here. So I'll show you inside my head account and kind of talk you through the strategies I'm using um, that you can use for your own business. We also have lots of different training too. So uh, my five pillar formula, which is the strategy I follow to generate those results in 2024. However, what you're probably most interested in in watching this is as being part of the group, you get free store reviews and free ad reviews. So I will personally do a video review of your Shopify store and send it back to you within 48 hours. One final thing then is we want to make business fun, of course. Yes, we want to make money, but we want to have fun along the way. So every single month I give away prizes. Um, the month, the prizes, sorry, for October, I have a 30 minute consultation with me for free, of course. 
$50 cash, cold hard cash straight into your bank account and a real dropshipping branded t-shirt. So also your t-shirt with our logo one for you to wear whilst you're working on your dropshipping business, of course. With the shameless plug done. Um, in fact, no, one last thing on that. I'll just click the link at the end of the video and check it out and just make up your mind and, and see what you think. If it's not for you, totally cool. Um, what I would appreciate if you leave a comment down below and let me know um, if there's something in there that, that's missing, if, if it's not the sort of cup of tea you're looking for. Okay, number four, craft kits. Craft kits are a great one, tagged in the grandparents for. You can get crochet kits, you can get sewing things, um, lots of different craft kits for building stuff. It's just, on Christmas day, it's the perfect family activity, right? As we can see again, September, October, November, peaking in November, December time, November, December time, every single year, we're just creeping up into kind of about halfway demand-wise, so now it's the perfect time to start selling these craft kits. That would be the angle I would use too. Um, probably the perfect Christmas day activity for the whole family and then have a craft kit. It could be painting by numbers. It could be building something. It could be so many different things. Um, let your imagination run wild on that one. But yeah, the key here is to target a grandparent that can buy a craft kit that they can then work on with their grandchildren um, on Christmas day. I think that's just an awesome, awesome gift. Next we have dog toys. Um, again, it's pretty self-explanatory, right? September, October, December, September, October, November, December. And we have dogs and people tend to buy our dog or we have a dog. People tend to buy our dog either treats or toys because they're not really sure what else to get them. So dog toys are a brilliant one to get in because you don't only get dog owners buying them, but you get people who don't have a dog and don't really know what to get a dog and they don't wanna spend too much money. So they'll just get them a cheap maybe five or 10 or 20 pound toy or bag of treats. So they, so we know that they've thought of our dog, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, dog toys, charging ducks as well. And these make a great gift. People aren't buying these things for themselves. Um, October, November, December, October, November, December, as we can see, November, December, November, December. It's what people are buying for gifts. Everybody has a smartphone nowadays, or the majority of the population do. Most people have smart watches now too, um, or some form of uh, wireless earbuds, that sort of thing. So it's a pretty safe bet to buy somebody. Um, and nowadays they are pretty handy bits of kit as well that people genuinely do want to have because it's just one convenient, tidy place for you to charge all of your devices overnight. Um, so yeah, really good gifting option, charging docks. We've had dog toys, we have cat toys for the same reason. Pets is like one of the biggest industries and markets, hands down, regardless of it being Q4. So as you can see, um, cat toys go mad in Q4. Obviously, people are buying them for gifts. Diffusers. I featured a diffuser on a product video a few days ago um, in the shape of a train. Awesome, awesome products. I think it's going to make a lot of money, this Q4. And people want and like to have their houses smelling nice around the Christmas holidays, around the Christmas period. They also make really good gifts as well. The thing with diffusers is to stay away from the boring bland ones that, again, you can buy off your local supermarket shelf. Go for something quirky and interesting. Go for a diffuser that looks like a volcano exploding. Go for a diffuser that looks like a steam train like going down a track. Go for a diffuser that is in the shape of a dragon blowing fire out of his mouth. Just go for something that when people see it, they think, oh, that's that's really cool, that is. Um, I'd like to have that on my own desk or at my own home, that sort of thing. Um, if you find one that's in a certain theme, whether it's dragons or trains, you can also combine that with your targeting as well when you're advertising to find people who are interested in trains, show them a train diffuser that looks pretty cool. Um, and then you're obviously gonna increase your likelihood of somebody um, wanting to buy it. Bike lights, pretty self-explanatory. Um, here in the UK, September, October, November, December. Um, these will sell well in January too. Whilst the mornings are dark and the evenings are dark, people commuting, obviously that's gonna be your biggest market and they have to do so in the dark. So they need a good bike light to keep them safe. So front and back, the perfect bundle, upsell or cross sell opportunity. Um, bike lights, brilliant, brilliant products to get involved in again. Don't just go for a boring, bland bike light. You can go down to your local Halfords um, and buy. Find a bike light that people won't have seen before. So when they see it, that's half the battle is picking a product. So when people see it, they think, oh, that's cool. I've never seen that before. 
you can get bike lights that have indicators, bike lights that have like laser lines, bike lights that project like a cycling um, infographic. That's not the right word, but they like project certain images onto the road to keep them safe. Um, lots and lots of different options here. So, so yeah, have a good look around. Try and find one that, that catches, catches your eye and is out of the ordinary. Puzzles. Puzzles are a really good one for Christmas just purely because it's a good family activity again or something for a grandparent to do with their grandchildren rather than sit with their face on the screen being antisocial. They can use their brains, use their hands, develop um, and progress them, um, do something fun and challenging and also rewarding together. So puzzles, again, go for a, a cool puzzle. Don't just go for a tiny little 2D puzzle of something really boring. Go for a 3D puzzle of Big Ben or something that just, again, is out of the ordinary and, and pretty cool. Pet coats, obviously now here in the UK, um, weather is not very good. So people with specifically smaller dog breeds as well wanna buy pet coats to keep their dogs warm. So through the winter months, as we can see, demand increases. There's lots of different pet coats you can get as well. You can get waterproof ones, you can get reflective ones, you can get um, jackets, bomber jackets, hoodies. Uh, it all depends on kind of like what your marketing angle is gonna be. Do you wanna provide a rain jacket that's gonna keep the dog dry and that is reflective? So when they're out walking, it keeps it dry and it keeps it safe. Or do you wanna sell like a sort of jumper that keeps the dog warm when it's at home or when it nips out into the garden? Or do you wanna sell something novelty that just looks cute that people wanna to buy to dress, dress their dogs up in? Dog beds, had to put dog beds in here because it's just a no brainer as we can see. I mean, dog beds, as you can see, like it's pretty, pretty strong all year round, but then it does have its popular moments, which is in Q4, October, November, December time, November, December, January as well included in that. So dog beds, really, really good one. And again, just to keep reiterating, cause it's super, super important. Go for something that is different from a typical boring dog bed that you would buy from your local pet shop. Find something in a certain shape or that has lights on or it's a certain material or there's lots and lots of different options. RC toys, as we can see, a big, big one, um, the Q4 period. Every kid, everybody watching this video probably has received some form of remote control toy for Christmas at some point. It's just like almost a guarantee that a lot of children are gonna be receiving these on Christmas day. So it makes a good gift or makes a good product to drop ship. You can go for boring bland cars that everybody's seen, or you can get something a bit more interesting out in the ordinary, like a tank or a monster truck or a digger or, or something. There's lots and lots of different options out there. Um, go, go on AliExpress and you'll find lots and lots of really awesome, awesome RC toys that you can drop ship. Headphones too. This one actually comes as a bit of a shock for me. I don't know if I've seen this before, but headphones, probably because they make such an easy gift. Everybody has some form of headphones nowadays, whether they're wired or, or not. Not everybody too can afford like a decent pair of Bose headphones now, it's like 300 quid minimum. Same thing for Apple, same thing for like Samsung or any of the big tech companies. The next best thing is to find something that looks exactly the same, but it's a fraction of the price more often than not well i would say like most people would be more than happy with something like that it's happened in the past with lots and lots of different products like gopros it's super expensive now but you can buy something that granted doesn't do the exact same thing and to the same standard but if you're paying a fifth of the price like do you really care um there's lots people have made so much money to out selling fake airpods just because airpods are 200 and they 200 quid 250 quid i don't even know now and you could buy a, some AirPods that look exactly the same thing, obviously not made by Apple, and their sound quality probably to the untrained ear is no different, but you can buy them for 20%, 30% of the cost. There's definitely a market for that. So headphones, not one to look over or gloss over. Educational toys, which I've already mentioned, in fact, um, again, your target market here is parents and grandparents looking for some kind of uh, fun, that everybody can join in with um, preferably. But if not, then just some sort of educational toy that helps progress the child in some in one way or another. And a thing that I've seen a lot is, and my wife bought one of these, is you can get them in lots of different shapes and shapes of dinosaurs. And there's lots of different bulbs. 
and then there's different switches or there's USBs you have to put in or there's keys that you turn and it turns the lights on and off. They're really solid toys because they help bring kids on um, and they're somewhat educational or progressive. So something like that. And Montessori boards as well, another, another, another big one. Then we have jewelry look, a no brainer. We can see like pretty consistently through the year, very, very strong, but all, even more so during Christmas for obvious reasons. Um, it makes a really good gift. Target market here is probably, well, it depends on the piece of jewelry. Jewelry applies to any niche, of course. You can get dog jewelry, you can get couples jewelry, you can get anniversary jewelry, get jewelry for daughters, jewelry for mothers, jewelry for fathers, jewelry for grandparents. So again, just make sure that when you do find that piece of jewelry, don't just sell it because it looks like a nice piece of jewelry. You've got to have an ideal target, a specific target market in mind. Christmas decorations, fairly obvious, I had to mention it because just look. Next one, we have board games. Board games, as we can see, are pretty dead all year round because we're in the 21st century now. However, I'm partial to a good board game, especially family holidays and Christmas day, Christmas Eve, Boxing Day, people aren't at work, they've got nothing better to do than be forced to spend time with their families. So. What beats a, bet, a good game of Monopoly or something like that? There's loads of board games too out there that you can drop ship that aren't Chinese board games. I'm not always talking AliExpress too. There's lots of other drop shipping suppliers out there that sell board games, branded board games that you can wholesale um, and sell for yourself. So have a good look around, see what you can find because it's not gonna be the typical or go-to drop shipping products most people are selling. So definitely lots of opportunity there. And the 20th one, the last one, baby toys. Baby toys, so anything kind of six months in and around, obviously just be careful and make sure you don't pick something that has lots and lots of tiny little parts. Go for something uh, suitable, of course. Um, it makes obviously the perfect gift when somebody has a baby. It's difficult buying clothes. Everybody buys clothes too. Honestly, our house is f just full of clothes. Um, that in fact we've actually had to give some away, um, give some to charity because we've got too many. But baby toys is the sort of thing as well. Babies, they'll play with something for five minutes and then never want to play with it again, or at least not for a long time. So you can't really, we well, can have too many toys. Again, our house is pretty overrun full of toys, but it's a nice gift to get someone. Just go for something out of the ordinary again. Go for something just a bit special or a bit unique. With that being said, guys, I'm going to leave you here with my real dropshipping community just to show you a couple of extra things as well. I'm very active in there, by the way. So like I'm always posting things, asking what people want, what they want to see. I'm posting different ideas. We actually had a win as well yesterday. And this person here launching one of my video, launching one of my products from one of my videos. They wanted testing, made $300 at a 30% profit margin. So the systems inside do work. Um, so make sure you check that out if it sounds of interest to you or you want some extra help um, starting with your dropshipping business. So yeah, just check out the links in the video below. Have an awesome Thursday, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.